Maybe I'm the only one. Maybe I'm the only one. But I feel as though I've been duped. You see, for a long time, I was under the assumption that all these people that said, you know, Christianity is a bunch of crap and, you know, it's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo weird spaghetti monster in the sky. We are scientific people. We don't believe in any of that religious stuff. All those celebrities that talked about it, all these kids on the internet that would school a Christian and say, we don't need your Bible. We believe in science and we believe in critical thinking and in uh, evidence and, and things that we can see. Um, you know, all these people, uh, I, I come to find out that there is a growing religion among these folk. It is called astrology, my friends, astrology. And uh, I'm, I'm sure you're familiar with it. Uh, people will ask you, you know, what's your sign? I'm a Libra. I'm a, I'm a Cancer. I'm a whatever the heck, right? And, uh, you know, what blows my mind is that you can ask somebody, what do you think about religion? And they can respond, Oh yes, religion is a bunch of garbage. It is completely unverifiable. You realize that the mere fact that you are talking about religious things means that it cannot be proven. It is a matter of faith. When my friend, I am a man of science. And you can ask that person what their sign is, and they're like, Oh yes, I'm a Capricorn. It means I love corn on the car and I get angry on Tuesdays. Like what? Like what? What's going on? And okay, this is the most, so uh, two groups that I want to highlight here and other groups get in the astrology thing, but two groups, okay? The title, uh, the, the title of the video, Teenage Girls, it is booming. And if you're a teenage girl and you don't believe in astrology, good job, but also watch out for your friends because look, it is extremely popular. Forget about Enneagram and Myers-Briggs. Bring in astrology, everyone, because this will tell you your fate. And people swear on this stuff, literally. Like, I'm a, like, you know, I, I'm a Libra, therefore this kind of thing, or I'm a whatever the, like, and they, they believe that that is like an intricate part of their identity. Like, almost so much to where when they're dating people, they're like, oh, he's this sign. I can't do that. That's going to be a weird mix with my sign. Like, guys, this is all based on the stars. You realize that, right? Like, the where the star patterns are when you're born. Are we serious right now? The second group is celebrities. Celebrities, yes, the same celebrities that say, oh man, yeah, Christianity is, is just a bunch of garbage and we don't need that Christianity religious stuff. The biggest growing religion in Hollywood, my friends, is astrology. But if you're already watching this video, you already know what's up. In Leviticus, we are told don't read fortunes or any of that kind of stuff. That is witchcraft. That is new age trash that needs to be pushed aside because look, is always messed up and the people that can actually tell the tell the future like they can actually um you know say what's going to happen or, or they have some like knowledge hidden knowledge all that kind of thing and you can see interviews with some of these people that have come out of this stuff they are communicating with demons and you're like isaac that's a what are you talking about isaac they're not communicating no i'm serious i'm serious there are plenty of videos and if you're really interested in this stuff the new age stuff check out the youtube channel cultish they do a tremendous job on interviewing a bunch of people on this stuff i just think it's rich it's just rich when people say i'm not interested in christianity because it's like religious and yet these are some of the most religious people out there so all i'm saying is is if you're talking to a friend and they're like you know and you're like hey you have you heard of jesus have you heard and they're like, i don't want the religion thing and you know that they're uh, you know a strict believer in in these signs of the stars and and how that impacts their lives and and then the same people that say oh i don't i don't like how the bible says that we're all sinners you don't know me and yet they believe what the stars know about them like are you joking right now but just know that look hey we are all religious in some way, you know, whether it's the uh, religion of science and the scientific method. Oh my goodness, the scientific method, even though those people that are atheistic, um, you know, materialists, they have no foundation to which they use a scientific method because without God, there is no foundation of what is actually true. Without God, there is no ought Without God, there is no right or wrong or true or false because, false because we are all just stardust and no stardust is more right than any other stardust, if you know what I mean. So 
um, that's a bunch of bogus as well. Or some people's religion is, um, is astrology. People want something to cling on to. That is their desire. They want something that they can derive certainty from, whether that's astrology or science or whatever. But in our heart, in Romans 1, we learn that we all know God exists. We simply suppress that truth in unrighteousness. It's because of our sin that we deny the truth about God. But we all know he exists. And what our job is to simply preach the gospel to people because everyone believes in something. But they some people just suppress the truth more than others. Astrology is one of those things for sure. And so if you believe in astrology right now, I just want to call you out of that and say that is not true. That is not what you need. That is just a distraction, distracting you from the true source of certainty, who is God. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks to all my Patreon supporters. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. God bless.